based on the true story of Jackie Chan's parents and brought to the screen by two of Asia's biggest stars, Shang Lao and Tang Wei. The film A Tale of Three Cities was chosen for the centerpiece presentation program by this year's Asian American International Film Festival. Before the film hit the big screen in New York City, Director Mabel Chang and screenwriter Alex Law arrived at Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in New York to share more about the film's production. A Tale of Three City is actually the uh, love story between a spy and an opium smuggler uh, who just happened to be Jackie Chan's parents. <laughs> I mean, lucky him, huh? lucky, lucky Jackie, <laughs> because his stories have always been very dramatic, even before he was born. You know, he has such tra traumatic parents, you know. But uh, seriously, the film is about turbulent China in the 1930s and 40s, when people, when, you know, China was plunged into a war with Japan and followed by civil wars and all that. And everybody was running for, for their life and running for their loved ones, running from city to city, from place to place, which is why this film is called A Table of Three Cities. And uh, lately, the film has taken on a new meaning, especially when we look at all the refugee problems in Europe, its causes and its uh, consequences. Spanning from the Second Sino-Japanese War in the 1930s to the early 1950s, a tale of three cities followed the two protagonists as they escaped from city to city, facing tremendous dangers before eventually living happily together. Mabel Chang shared that Jackie Chan didn't know about his parents' amazing love story until three years ago. Prior to release, Jackie Chan watched the film by himself, crying from the beginning till the end of the film. Back in the 2003, uh, we went with, uh, Jackie Chan said, well, um, Mabel, my father's going to tell me his life story, and I want to record it uh, like a family album. You know, he would like to record everything. So um, he asked us to make this uh, documentary for him. So we went with him to uh, Canberra to, in Australia. Uh, to, to listen to his father's story. But then afterwards, um, uh, his father and, 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 and us become very good friends. So he told us uh, many more um, of his stories, which Jackie didn't know. Uh, Jackie Chan, um, he went to see the movie um, before it was released. He, um, he said he has to see it by himself because he doesn't want anybody to see him sit, look, uh, watching the movie. Um, so he went, uh, but uh, he took an assistant. Um, and afterwards, of course, he didn't say a thing, and he went away. He said, and went went away. And the assistant, being uh, also a spy, uh, told us that um, he cried from the first six minutes. Is it six minutes on? He cried until the end. Couldn't stop. Having worked in the Hong Kong film industry for almost 30 years, the filmmakers Mabel Chong and Alex Law first made their names with their migration trilogy, which include Illegal Immigrant, An Autumn's Tale, and Eight Tales of Gold. During the press conference for A Tale of Three Cities, Mabel Chong recalled New York City from the 1980s and said that the city is so different now that she won't be able to make the same kind of film on immigrant issues today. We studied um firm at NYU and we used to spend a lot of time working in Chinatown and um, that's where we met many interesting people including gangsters and illegal immigrants and from these people we got inspiration for our first three movies. <laughs> New York has changed a lot you know um, from the time I was uh, here to now uh, I, I, I came here a few days earlier to walk around the city and has become very tidy, um, not so dangerous. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't find my friends in Chinatown. All the gangsters were locked away um, for lifetimes without parole. You know, I, I, I don't know whether I can sp still find the story here. And Chen Fat is not young any longer. <laughs> For more information from Sanovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovision.net. Reporting for Sanovision Journal, I'm Jane Stone.